Welcome to Beholder's Eye, a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons epic fantasy adventure. My name is Alex and I'll be your host and Dungeon Master. On the Great Isle, it is a time of religious wars, imperial domination, and an ancient evil reborn. Only one crew can save the world from utter destruction. They are... Magrain Silverbeard, Paladin of St. Delegis. Zalara Tremez, Wandering Elven Monk. Gerin Kelsey, High Elf Bladesinger. Heaven Hit, the Fire Kindled Wandering Flamosifer. Alright, so who wants to let us know what happened on the last episode? Alright, so last episode we continued down the hallway, or the, uh, the cavern, in pursuit of Aruna, the demon girl child. Um, we came across a rather peculiar sight of these uh, shortish creatures um, waiting for a Tunari to pass through, and then they uh, threw um, like kind of grappling hook type things on them on the, the Tunari and started writing it down a passageway, or well, like the passageway that Tunari was creating as it was moving. Um, we said that's neat, and then continued on and found a mother Tunari giving birth to a bunch of grubs. Uh, we, of course, well, actually, we didn't initiate combat. Two grubs saw um, Zalara and the Hibonite, came charging, and then we started fighting them, um, killed a lot of the babies, the grubs. The mother got really mad, killed one of her own, got madder, and then uh, the, the grubs took, whatever my name is, took Garen Get out <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> I might as well forget. I'm going to die. <laughs> um, took Garen out uh, like in two times in a row, and Mama Mark put Green. her head... Margraine? Margraine went down, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Margraine did go down. Um, uh, Mama Tunari put its head through the cavern and screamed at us, and that's where we left it. Okay, so uh, the Tunari mother's basically boring a giant hole through the cavern you guys are in. Garen, it is your turn. Give me a death save. Crit fail, I'm dead. <gasps> well. Well. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, when did you? How, crit fail is two, right? Oh, yeah. I never, I never didn't remove it from the last time I went down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've only right. just gone I down. I was like, <sighs> Wait a minute. You failed two. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. I, I literally <laughs> almost shit myself. Ben. I know. <laughs> I know. I, my doctor told me my cholesterol was high, and I was like, "Am I gonna have a heart attack?" I feel a tightness in my chest. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Oh, I'm glad I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. Me too. All right. So crit failed. You lose. <laughs> oh. All right. You crit failed. So you lose two um, death saves. Hibonite, it is your turn. Okay. Um. Can I get in a position where I can draw a 100 foot line with five foot on either side? myself and the mother, none of my allies, and preferably at least one of these critters. Yes, but you will get, get one of the critters. So just the mum, yeah? Yep. That's fine at this point. Yeah. I'm, try I'm trying to hold off the other thing that's trying to kill it. Um, in that case, I'll just hit her with a... I with a light third devil. So it'll be 20 damage on a failed deck save of... 15. Yes. Half on a pass. So you shoot the lightning out at her, and it definitely, yeah, she obviously cannot move anywhere, so she takes the full damage. Uh, and I will. Is there anything I can do to. I can make him invisible. Doesn't really help. Um, I will stay where I am and end my turn. Okay. Margrain. Okay. Let's try this one more again. Uh, <laughs> Garen. So I cannot heal you because I only get to do that once. But I will expend a use of my healer's kit to bring you back up with one hit point. Okay. So you're back up with one. And then I'll Oops. use my bonus action to drink a healing potion so that I get 2d4 plus 2. So I'm up to 32 now. All right. And that is me done. All right. Uh, Xena, you just, is she hanging out with him tonight? Um, ah, just because I think she would. She saw Garen go down twice. She's going to charge up on a grub and like yell at it and like Rawr! and try to distract it from hitting him again. Okay. That it can't attack. She can't attack or anything. So, uh, right. but no, so she'll take the dodge. She'll take the dodge action and just try to get it to attack her and not Garen. Okay, cool. Um Zalara, your turn. 
Okay, so Garen has just been raised. Um, I'm gonna, I don't have that as a bonus action. Um, can I feed him a healing potion? As an action. As, as a full action. If I'm yeah. being honest, don't worry about me. If I go down again, you can at least bring me back where they hit so hard, I'm gonna go down. No matter yeah, what Yeah, it do. doesn't no matter, matter how what. much health he has. Yeah. yeah. So um, attack or okay. run or do something. <laughs> How far away is the mother from us? Mother's right up on uh, on you, like 25 feet. 25 feet away. And uh, where are the grubs in relation? So we've got the mother coming at us. Right. We've the got... gr- grubs are the grubs are in front, in between the mother and, and everyone. Okay. Can I position myself within? No, because if she's 25 feet away, she's not going to be within a 15 foot cube of the grubs. Correct. 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 Okay. Can I position myself in between the grubs and her to have a 15 foot cube hit both of them? The grubs, yeah. Just the grubs. Yep. Yeah. And the grubs are what's taking them down, but that's also a con save. You know what? Never mind. I'm gonna try entangle to keep her from coming at us. Nice. So um, I'm going to cast this at her. Her being the mother? Yes. Cool. And, oh, this is probably not going to work, but she has to make a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangling plants until the spell ends. It's worth a shot. And, yeah, okay. Spell save 15. 14. Yes. Nice. Okay, so she is currently restrained. Awesome. And she has to make, she can make another uh, strength save on her turn to get loose. A strength save? Her, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then that acts as her turn, right? That's... Yes. Okay. 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 Cool. I did a good thing. Woo. Woo-hoo. And then I am going to... That was not an attack, so I can't do my bonus attack. I'm going to just step... I'll just patient defense. Stand next to Garen. Okay, cool. Um, So she's going to try and break free. DC 15? Correct. All right. She's able to rip through the, the uh, vines. I rolled a 25 on that one. So All it's right. It's a stall. It prevented her from attacking us once. That's fine. I mean, yeah. that was that is huge. So, Garen, it's your turn. <laughs> Um, not to try to kill myself, but don't aren't there grubs still around? Oh yeah, <laughs> I've done that so much this <laughs> this recent well, one, session. One will go for uh, Kit Kat, your little kitty cat. Um, and I'm there disadvantage. too now. Right, um, disadvantage. Ooh. So with the attack, it was a critical twenty nine, mm-hmm. but with disadvantage, it's twenty three. So yeah, it still hits. It Bye. comes down and eats Xena. The other one is going to attack Margraine. Yep. 17 misses. So, yep. All right. Now it's your turn, Garen. Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> okay. I'm casting. Oh, do I want to? So the grubs are in front of all of us? Yeah, the grubs are right up on you, Margraine, and Zalara. Okay. I'm going to cast Grease right at their Feet, and so it, but 10 feet away so it gets them and not any of us okay um uh they must make a dex save or fall prone oh well, i can tell you they're probably gonna fall prone with that negative two there uh dex save 16 12. oh yeah all right 12 and 12 nice so both fall prone. all right then i'm backing up 30 feet and uh because i might die I, i'm just gonna bonus action um Blade, my last blade song. Okay. All right. Hibonite, it's your turn. Okay. I will back up 30 ish feet and well, I'll back up enough so I can still start off lightning bolts first. Let's do the attack before anything else. Okay. So she takes 28 on a failed deck save and half her success. DC 15. <laughs> I rolled a one. Uh, <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Double damn it? <laughs> that would be nice, but no. Uh, so 28 <laughs> points of damage? 28, yeah. All right, cool. So you zap her. Good. She screams. And I'll keep moving back. So I'm 30 feet back from where I started. Okay. Keep on moving back. Uh, Margraine, your turn. Okay. Um, both of them are prone? Yeah, both are prone. Okay. I'm going to swing at the one that's directly in front of me. Okay. With green flame blade and its advantage because it's prone, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, 17. Hits. Okay, for 11 bludgeoning damage plus another 3 fire damage. And since the other guy is within 5 feet of him, right? Mm-hmm. Um, then he takes 4 fire damage. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's still alive? It's still alive, but it's definitely hurting. Okay, and I'm going to swing at it again. Okay. Uh, critical. Yeah. <laughs> for 12, uh, 11 damage. All right. What's it look like when it dies? Um, I don't know. It's just a big bug. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> 
Like I just kind of yeah, splat it in its gooey center with its uh, with my big hammer. Just All right, like squish, and it squishes, and it, and it looks like a burrito if you smack it in the middle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um. <sighs> what am I doing here? You still have movement. Yeah, I do. Another guy's prone. Do you have bonus attack something? No, I use my bonus action and my action. Oh. So I am done. I'm going to stay where I am. Ooh, interesting. Okay. All right, your turn, Zalara. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm okay. So there's just one grub left in front of me, right? Yep. And it's prone. Do I get advantage on my swing then? Mm-hmm. Okay. You certainly do. Okay, doke. So I'm just gonna try to take it out, I guess. Uh, 22 for my first swing for three damage, and then I'm gonna go with my second attack for 21. Nice. And seven damage, and then I will bonus uh, unarmed attack. 23 for seven damage. Okay. Is it still up? It's still. It, After it's I, really hurting, but yeah. I'm gonna spend another key point. I'm gonna punch it again. Yeah. All right. <laughs> for eight. <laughs> Never mind. So, oh, you not for eight damage? No, for like, I missed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> eight to attack. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're level seven and eight. Okay. Uh-huh. Like, oh, uh-huh. all right. I hadn't scrolled down far enough to see. All right. Uh, yep. So you miss. Bummer. Bummer. That was all right. Fun. So, first things first, that grub's going to get up. It's hurt. It's mad. Flurry of gonna... Blowsmith lets you make two attacks, Kim. I did not do that. Okay. Oh, go go one more. 22 to hit. That hits. For four bludgeoning. That's exactly as much as you needed. What's it look oh, like when it dies? <laughs> Praise Theos, or Chimhara, or whomever I praise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pra- praise God number four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I punch it in its little crabby face, and it just kind of like curls back in on itself instead of being like, you know. Like a roly poly. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the mother's pissed, and she's going to bore in now. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to just assume that once she hits my grease spot that she just destroys that area and not slips on it. <laughs> but I assume, I, I don't know, I don't know how she's boring in, so. Yeah, I mean, that would be, because it is just taking the ground up, okay. uh, so it wouldn't. That's how I, I was imagining it. So. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like she's coming in, like if, if the hole's like that big, she's this big and making the hole yeah. coming through that. Um, okay, so she comes in, she's boring in, um, yeah, it, it knocks up the grease spot, um, the whole ground around you is shaking. Um, so she's going to come up on Zalara. Because you didn't run, right? Nope. Okay, going to come up on Zalara and Margrain. First attack will be to Margrain. Oh, I forgot to patient defense. She comes down with one of her mouths very hard on you. What, what, what's the number, Alec? Um, it's critical. Okay, yep. Take 39 points of damage. Okay, I'm down. Zalara, she comes attacking you. 25. Uh huh. Take 26 points of damage. Whew, still up. <laughs> and since you're still up, she's coming so at you far. 19. Uh, yeah. Take 19 points of damage. Wait, 26 plus 19. <laughs> I need to calculate. It's 35. No, I think oh, I'm wait, so no. good. Okay. No, 45, right? 26 plus 19. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's yeah, exactly your hit points, isn't it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm down. That was fun. All right. Garen, it's your turn. <laughs> I have six healing potions on me. <laughs> How badly is this thing hurt? It's definitely hurting. Um, to give you, just number wise, to give you an idea, uh, you're three quarters of the way through her. Okay. I think we've done like 190 damage at this point. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a lot. Yeah. Um, can you do on, 50 look damage? This. No, I cannot. I'm just trying to. Ryan can with one of his fancy wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more than one slot. Just slam it out. But Do it's it. got to be a good roll. It's got to be a good roll with that as well. But personally, I'm surprised he hasn't already. Right. When, I, when as soon as he pulled out the wand, I was like, "Wait, just one charge? One charge exactly. over time. Get one charge of a time gets me way more damage output from it in total. Oh. And one, yeah, yeah. Because each one is eight d six, whereas each level I sink into that is is an extra, extra. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's like whereas, the one of magic missile sucks if you use more than one charge. It's just like I wasted all these charges. Just, I, I guess all wands are like that, but. All right, um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, because I can't thunderstep without hurting another person. So I can, oh. only, take one, I can only take one person, and then it's going to hurt the other one. Because um, they're, they're right next to each other, right? Yeah, so which one do you like more? 
<laughs> Zalara, obviously. I helped you. Definitely Zalara. I know Marguerite just saved me, but he works for the church. Um, Plus, I'm an elf. Yo, elves yeah. gotta stick together. Can you get to him, Hibonite? I can get to him. I can heal him. I can't get away. So we'd both just be down next to him. All right. I'm going to cast web right on the thing. Okay. It's got to make a deck save or be restrained. It does not. I rolled a seven. All right. So it is. it cannot move any attacks. It has disadvantage on it's the best I can do. <laughs> It's um, really good. I mean, no, I know, but he could still hit. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I mean, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, crap. You could just pick me up and go back. Or wait, could, could you I, pick me up? Could I do mm-hmm. that with my movement? Re- no. Realistically, you guys know if you can get me up, I can get her up. Like, no problem. Vice versa. That's, that's true. I can get you up too. We're the healers. <laughs> So I think. Well, actually, oh, right crap. now I just have healing potions, but still. <laughs> how far? How far away am I from them, Alex? You're gonna be able to get to them in uh, one movement, but it's gonna be at the edge of your movement. You've moved. You've moved quite far back. Yeah, how are you on hit points, Hibonite? I'm max. I haven't taken a single hit. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, I was max too. No, I'm, I'm. I'm playing a sorcerer. A sorcerer, how he should be, far <laughs> away from the f- front line. Yeah, my, my plan was once the little little guys were down, I was gonna back out and then just keep peppering her with yeah. the, you know, just like keep peppering her with Eldritch Blast and we just keep laying into her and staying out of her range. It's just, I can't outrun anybody. There's no point in me running. I can't get away mm-hmm. right because of my movement. So, so Garen, are you doing anything else? So, I cannot do anything else. Okay. I am... Okay. Hibonite, your turn. What are you doing, man? Okay. Uh, so, do I go for all out attack and hope it dies or I can get Margaret up? So, here's the thing. He cannot move, or she cannot move. So, if you're five feet away from her, you give Margarine a healing potion, get him up. He could just pull Zalara away. Okay, I will... And and use... she can't hit you unless she has a reach weapon. So. I'll use my movement to get to Margarine. I will give him a healing potion. You can roll it if you want, Sam, because you tend to roll healing better than me. Uh, yeah, Sam's been killing it on the healing. Six. Uh, Not too bad. I spoke too soon. I... <laughs> well, I rolled exactly average. Yeah, yeah. You, but every other one, you've at least maxed out one of the die tonight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will okay. use my heart spell Misty step back 30 feet because I don't want to stay close to it. There you go. <laughs> Very cool. Perfect. Smart. Okay. Yeah. Zalara, I haven't used it on you. Take 1d6 plus your level in life. Okay. I need to buy more healers kits. <laughs> I am I almost all, out of uses. I think we'll just carry one for you to use on us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. a combat patch right there. Yeah. Just rip it off. And <laughs> <laughs> um, and mm, I'm just... confident that she can run. She can run. Zalara can run. Just disengage and get away. Zalara should be fine. Yeah, yep. she's a running lady. I am going to spend for my bonus action because that was an action. I'm going to spend my last spell slot. I'm going to sanctuary myself. Nice. And I'm going to run my full movement back 25 feet. Okay. So in order for to her to even try and hit me, she has to make a wisdom saving throw of 14. Okay. Sounds good. All right, Zalara, you're up. Your turn. So okay. He's, she's not going to try to hit him? What do you mean she's not going to try to hit who? who? Well, can she's still, moving away. She can still She attack. can try with advantage, with disadvantage, because yeah. She's oh, restrained. She, she still has to wisdom check to see if she can hit him. Yeah. Yes. Oh. As he's running away. And then right. even if she does, she has to do it at disadvantage. Right. That's okay. helped. <laughs> so I got a, a five on that. So I'm guessing no. Okay. So no, yeah. she can't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm within five feet of her now, yeah. right? Okay. Um... Well, she's here. I'm here. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to stab this motherfucker. Nice. Uh, 18. Hits. For eight piercing. Okay. Or wait, do I get advantage because she's entangled? Yep. Oh, you actually do. You actually so do. 22. So 22. All right. Okay. So that's a critical Ooh, to hit. Nice. For 16 piercing. Very nice. She's still up. Yep. Uh, really? Should get away. A step of the wind <laughs> so don't, that you push it. disengage push and run. It. <laughs> Okay. Hit her. That, Hit her. That, that's fighting. how you die in Dark Souls. You just Keep. like, I can do it. I can do it. Keep fighting. Die. Just in Dark well, Souls. Punch. <laughs> So she's at disadvantage to attacks, mm-hmm. and I have disadvantage on my bracer. Does that give her and triple it's disadvantage? Just flat it disadvantage. Not. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> I know. Um, nice. <laughs> to what's more exciting? Um, to you. I, uh, <laughs> to the audience. Uh, <laughs> to the world. I find living <laughs> really fans. exciting. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm so torn. That was an amazing hit. That was, was an amazing hit. I'm going to take it and run. Okay. Yep. I'm spending a key point to disengage. <laughs> and I'll go 50 feet back. 
Nice. All right. <laughs> so you just zoom knows. past me like a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, so Tunari is going to try to strength roll, right? Um. So yeah, strength out. Uh, sixteen. DC sixteen. All right. Rolled a twenty-seven, so she breaks through. But it's that's her turn. Yeah. So All right. your turn, Garen. Okay. So. Oh no 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 no! I'm going to cast Mel's minute meteors. So, um, six tiny little meteors come out and they're floating around me. And then I'm going to shoot two of them off right now, um, to deal 2d6 fire damage. Okay. Each. Nice. Four. (laughs) Oh, um, actually, I think I might have to actually roll the hit. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, oh, no, actually, it's, uh, deck save for them. Oh, no chances are she will fail. Doesn't seem right. And she's at disadvantage because of, um, not anymore. She broke free. Oh, right. So, yep, she failed on both. Okay, so take four and then 10. So 14 fire damage total. Okay, she's hurting. And I'm running away. Okay, Hibonite, your turn. Okay, Hibonite is going to slam his other staff of lightning into the ground, pumping (laughs) almost all but one of its charges because I like these staffs. So it would be 13d6 damage. Do it. (laughs) That is not the best, but that is 42 damage on a uh, failed DC 15 deck save. So what does it look like as she dies <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> uh, so sort of in like a Gandalf you shall not pass sort of moment slams it into the floor <laughs> bolt of lightning goes out and you just see his eyes just explode goes, his mouth just goes limp and it's blocking this tunnel now all right so that's what you see you guys <gasps> all pretty beat up with the exception of Hibonite <laughs> Hibonite has almost no spell staff though, which makes him incredibly vulnerable. You got nice. staff left, right? So, or very little uh, staff. Oh. I have one staff with five left, and then okay. one with one left. Well, you know, Ooh. I think we probably just helped the Earth people out a whole lot. Indeed. I and think mm-hmm. the little mm-hmm. girl, if this is their main route in and out, is now trapped behind this massive creature. So I would say we've done enough for now, and we can leave. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Because we, can't we need to any sleep. Form of fight. <laughs> We need to find somewhere to sleep. Mm. Right now. Yeah, like immediately. I am not oh. leaving Xena in that and, other and, place. And if we encounter anybody, we're dead. I have nothing. I can chug some healing potions. <laughs> that is a waste when we can just sleep. Okay. Do I have anything to help hide us? Uh, uh, minor, well, no, minor illusion doesn't last, does it? No, it's only a minute. Not Man, what I'd do for a wall stone. What you're looking for, Ben, is hallucinatory terrain. Right. That's that's, that's the spell really you're looking good. for. I don't have that one. So. Oh, man. That was Well, the, the Bard's Mansion would be perfect right now as well. <laughs> or at least yeah. a short rest. On a short rest, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I can do a short rest. It's just Hibonite's in a real bad situation well, spell-wise. And so I've is Garen, got, too, right? I've yeah, I, got, I can gain, like, three levels, three oh, uh, okay. spells back or something. Oh, but. I've still got a third level, a second a second level, and four first levels, and my cantrip. Why don't... Okay, I've got so... have nothing big. Yeah. Okay, we've got it blocked off this way. As long as we set up something on this end of the, the tunnel, we're at least okay. We can do a quick Pretty little... Pretty safe. Relatively, yeah. So yeah. I can do a quick little rest here just to get hit points, and then from there we can just go back outside. Does that sound okay? Yeah, yeah. I I can take watch if you while you guys rest because I won't be, I won't benefit at all. So Hib and I wouldn't be interested in it. Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. <gasps> dice away. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you guys rested a bit after your long battle. What are you doing now? Leaving. Back to the surface for now. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yes. We, we know how to feel get like back here. The job is not done. Uh-huh. However, we should also perhaps try to parlay with your earth friends. Um well we did leave a corpse in an unconscious sky when we left. We can hide them and say, Hey, look at this giant monster we slayed. I- I'm more thinking if they just found them on our way back. Hopefully mm, they haven't. The red Different. demon did it. I mean, I I doubt they'll believe us because this one guy's got a burn hole through the side of his head. You never know I like fire. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, we can push our luck or we can leave and just not come back. Do you think we can kill the scribe? I don't think we have enough knowledge to find the scribe, let alone fight her at the minute. I think she's just at the other side of that room. Would you like to try and move that massive creature? We can just hack through it. It's squishy. (laughs) That sounds like a terrible, terrible <laughs> idea. 
It, it, what? You saw how an easy idea. I squished one with my hammer? Yeah, one that was a small one that looked like it was just given birth to, not a massive one that took almost all of my power to kill. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm in a pretty good well, situation right now, so... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm good to go. I, I love your ego. It's an improvement <laughs> over the, you know, completely depressed, sad sack you used to be. But as we said before, you need to find the middle ground. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, you went down at least twice in that fight, I believe, or once uh-huh. at least. So you nearly died, like, within the last couple of hours. Uh-huh. You killed enough things for whatever weird fantasy you have going on. <laughs> oh. Can we please go somewhere safe? But, but full hit points, two spell slots. <laughs> I just double-checked, healer resets on a short rest, so I get that <laughs> back. <laughs> I have I have my lay on hands and a hexblade's curse. Like we're real good for some like little girl killing right now. I, You're real good for a little some little girl killing. I have one counter spell if she uses anything big on us, which could do massive damage to all of us. I think so if she hits us with one of my fireballs and we're too close together, or focuses on you, that's most of your hit points going in one. That's almost Solara down in one. That's almost me down in one. Probably Garen as well. I don't Definitely. know. She wasn't that bad last no time. Idea. We have no idea how many people they have. Uh, we well, she wasn't that bad th- last time. We did this they take out a giant monster. They weren't uh-huh. expecting us last time. <laughs> that's true. I don't think I do not like to leave this job unfinished. It's not unfinished. We're just, I'm sure, I'm 100% certain we will fight her at some point in the future, even if it's not here. I think we're in a position right now that if we go after her, we can get her and prevent a lot of bad happening. Like, this is both Sam and Margaret talking. (laughs) Like, we could actually have a win. And, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm as good as I get, pretty much, right now. I'm at like half of so, my strength at best. Yo, Ryan, are you? You're saying like just leave entirely, right? Not go sleep it off and then come back. You I, just want to go. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I think giving her another eight hours is a bad idea. Hmm. I think, I think if we're leaving, we're through, leaving. It would probably take that, that long to hack through this creature. It's going to take eight hours to get to the surface. Hmm. We're hours down here, right? I don't yeah. think there's any good ideas at the moment. How about this? You sleep. Margraine hacks through the creature because he's. Oh, we give him. I don't know something sharp. And <laughs> oh, I know I've got it. Margraine and I can hark, yeah. hack through it. And uh, Garen, between Garen and I, we can take point and and keep watch. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah. Like I. I just like what kind of situation is Lara in, Kim? Like she's in pretty good shape I, now. Oh yeah, I got all my key points back. Garen's in pretty good shape. Have- we just got four four spell slots back. I don't have spell slots, but you know, I don't care. No, like, but you only, you're only a level one druid. It doesn't yeah. make a difference. <laughs> like, you're still a full monk that's right now. Two, two yeah. spell slots. Like, uh. like I have half lot, my so. spell slots back. Right. Yeah. And, and I, I have all my, my health and most of my stuff. Like, like we're pretty much good. Like, you're at 50%, Ryan. Like, this is just Sam talking. We're like most of the way there. We're like 80% of full. Uh huh. <laughs> We just think... came out of a fight by the skin of our teeth and we're heading into what could potentially be a thousand times worse. Or maybe she was using the Tunari as, like, that was going to be guaranteed death for us. And we... She wasn't that bad when we fought her in the room. She only just escaped. Like, she was well, in a pretty bad way. She looked bad anyway. She After looked like days, she was in a pretty a bad state. Full strength by now. Like, um, she could have had, well, like, sure. she could have, like, you know, different things than we encountered last time. But she was pretty killable at least, you know, what, almost two days ago at this point. <laughs> I get what you're saying. It's just, you all want to go for the fight. So I'm arguing the opposite point because uh-huh. that's what Hippo Knight does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I do as a person. If everyone agrees, I argue the opposite point. So you try and everyone gets a perspective. I uh-huh. may agree with you, but I just don't want to. <laughs> I get it, I, I, Just for the, for the point of my wands, when would the next dawn be? <laughs> um, they get the charges I, back at dawn. Yeah, oh. you would be. I, I, let's see, because you were down there for a long time. Um, I mean, it if you like... rested eight hours, you would definitely get it. Okay. Okay. So we're doing the rest thing, yeah. We have- we'll see how long it takes me to get through a Tunari. Yeah. We have. Hibernite is doing an eight hour rest. We have the protection at our back right now. Exactly. And Garen and I could potentially, over that time, unless can- Margrave needs assistance, we could both do our four hours and be yes. fully ready to go. 
And then it's just Margraine being at 80%. Like, like, like potentially, right? There's another mm-hmm. way out for her. Yes. Out through the back. Mm-hmm. And we've wasted some time. But, but we have wasted three days already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She could but be long gone. All else fails, you know, best case scenario, we've backed her into a corner and we're at and pretty much full. Mm-hmm. The demon man is following her. So yeah. we know we are on the trail at the very least. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you guys are resting. Uh, Margrain, you're, you're going to hack your way through with a sword? Uh, yeah, I've got a sword. Okay. Um, I have a hammer Yep, as well. Uh, you know, I've got some green flame blade, you know? Sure. Wind- windmilling both arms, hammer and hammer and sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just a little is like... Halfling John Henry. So. Yeah, I just can't think of a better way. <laughs> okay. And, um, uh, during my time not... Uh, re- what is the word that we do? Train. Meditating. Meditating. Thank you. I was thinking to begin with the R for some reason. Uh, meditating. I'll attune with that necklace. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. Very good. All right. So, um, give me a, give me a one d ten roll, Sam. Okay. Let's do it. Five. Okay. Straight in the middle. Right. So, um, you are able to within ten hours cut your way through. Now. Because you didn't rest when everyone else did, and you worked the whole time. I'm going to give you one level of exhaustion. Okay. Oh, fair. I, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But you were able to actually... Skills? What's Sorry, that? go ahead. Uh, I was just saying, is that just skills? I ability can't checks. So that's ability not too checks. bad. Okay. Disadvantage on ability checks right now. So Right. So skills okay. and ability checks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So you were able to actually cut your way through, and um, you know, as, as you do get to a certain point, and it starts coming out, uh, you cut, start hacking your way through the back, the weight distribution kind of changes, and the worm just kind of slips down back into the cave where it was before the cavern. Mm. Okay. All right, so you guys make it through the sort of night, or I guess it is literally the night, you know, because the the staves are recharged. Uh huh. You got the cavern across the the with the hole across the way that you can climb up, and, and all three of you guys are at full. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> wow. Uh huh. All right. So there's there's just the one. I'm sorry. There's the one across the way. Yep. That's really just in, one yeah. hole. Yep. Mm-hmm. All righty then. Do Let's a, go. A quick okay. Yeah. Search for treasure. <laughs> Grub treasure. <laughs> you find nothing. I find okay. out anything on my way through a tunari, you know? She eat anything good? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> ancient lost sword of kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> the Special D&D red D&D demon sword. killing hammer. <laughs> You guys make your way across um, all the sticky, slimy substance. You're able to crawl up there without anything on your heels. It makes it fairly easy to do. Question. Also. Could Hibonite press the digitation, the sticky substance away? Yeah. Does he? I don't know if he wants to, but. I mean, would that be, does the sticky stuff slow us down at all? No, it's just gross. Oh, well, never mind. Then Hipponite wouldn't care. Okay. (laughs) But um, I also will ritual my um, Xena back into existence. Okay. So cool. then I play that with her. That is so cool. And you guys make your way uh, up. There is uh, the, this hole is also caved or carved out. Um, it is more of a square though, and it is really humanoid size. So you know it, it's about seven feet tall, um, four and a half feet wide. <laughs> and you make your way down the tunnel. You do hear actually, Garen. Anybody who wants to give me a, a Arcana check. Come the 14, 16, three. Since everybody else has, I might as well. <laughs> 14. Okay. <laughs> so everyone except for Zalara, uh, you, you all hear some noises. Um, it sounds like there's some kind of um, humming, a little, um, I am said thumping, but no, it, it's more like a pulsing. That's what it, you hear a pulsing hum as you continue down this hallway. You see purple energy, purple light, um, kind of like a rave reflect off the walls. You come to, as you come to the end of the hall, you see Aruna and she has sacrificed the red demon guy you you met, cut his throat open on the ground in this little room. <laughs> She's bled him out and there are a bunch of cryptic um, runes on the ground looking very similar, Hibonite, to the gate symbols that you've seen before. Up in front of her is a large black portal of some kind. She looks back at you all, smiles, and then walks into the gate. Dark shadows seem to encompass her, pull her into it, and we'll call the episode there. 
Thanks for listening to episode 60 of Beholder's Eye, John Henry, Burrito Smasher. Remember, if you want to support Beholder's Eye, don't forget to check us out on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Beholder's Eye Pod. You'll find some cool stuff there, get early releases of episodes, and uh, just, just make your mother happy. If you can't support us financially but want to help out the show, please leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcast. As I always say, make sure to do that for every podcast you enjoy. It's, it's basically our lifeline. Thanks to everyone who has rated so far. We actually have a five-star review from ichthus underscore sn this podcast is a blast listen to it when i'm mowing when i'm driving all the time i love the narrative beats and the collaborative storytelling the gm lets the players role play even if it changes the planned story and the players do an excellent job of playing real characters the crew is knowledgeable funny and best of all you can tell they're having a blast 10 out of 10 would always recommend thanks Ichthus underscore SN. Be sure to check us out on Twitter at Beholders iPod and our website, BeholdersEyeCast.com. Feel free to give us a shout out on Twitter using the hashtag Chaos Quartet. You can follow Ryan, who plays him and I at Duff Duff the Third, Ben, who plays Garen at Miro 4D2, Kim, who plays Lara at Mets Girl, and Sam, who plays Margraine at Samslot 007. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Editing performed by Sam Canary, music and effects editing by Benjamin Floyd. All music from Incompetech, Clash Defiant, Crossing the Chasm, Stormfront, Soaring, Dreamlike, Curse of the Scarab, and Our Journey Begins, all by Kevin McLeod, Incompetech.com, licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0 licenses. CreativeCommons.org, forward slash licenses, forward slash by, forward slash 3.0, forward slash. All sound effects from Zapsplat.com. This work is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, non-commercial, share alike, 4.0 international licenses. CreativeCommons.org, forward slash licenses, forward slash by, forward slash 4.0, forward slash.